when I when I was zoomed when I zoomed when I zoomed in around this area, they all yeah, fell up. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I noticed that. Mm -hmm. I noticed it last week on the the tree, and I was thinking, ah, it's a bit of a mm. bit of a heads up there that the little thin ones all try to grow up towards the light. You get the odd one that fails. Mm. Then you've got wind taken into consideration, haven't you? Sometimes you can see it better on the the monochrome ones. Mm. I've been doing these lately because I worked out a way of doing it in Photoshop. And um, the beauty of it is it saves you having to, saves you drawing a sketch. Because oh. invariably, I always say you should do a, a tonal sketch in pencil. Oh, I see. This you don't need to anyway because you can see where all the where all the tones are. Mm. That's the whole idea of it. So if you look at the, I think last week I was doing it, do it quite a lot on the portraits as well. Look at the the, the tonal bits, the, you know, the shadows. It gives you a if you squint your mm. eyes up, you can sort of sense where it's all oh, where okay. your sh shadows and shades are. Oh, and I put morning Fred in as well. Oh yeah, well, that's, that's difficult. <laughs> I worked out a way of doing that. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh wonderful. Well the beauty of it is I've worked it, I've got a um a little image of that, just the bottom morning Fred with um no background on it. Oh. And it's what you call a PNG file. So that means I can put it into a normal image as a layer on top, and I can make it bigger or smaller or whatever I like. Oh, God. Flip him over. So That's I'm quite, good. quite good. you know, quite fond of that. And so, <laughs> yeah, you can see on that sketch I've done that, I tried, what I, I put the ones there, what I, I don't know how it's going to work, we'll see in a minute. But what I decided to do yesterday was, Rather than try and put in loads of pencil marks, um, where the branches are and all that, I'm, and I can't um, be bothered with um, masking fluid. I, I can't get it that fine. And then if you mask and fluid the, the, the branches and twigs out, then when you rub it off, you've got to go and chase them. I'm fine. Mm. <laughs> so yesterday, I thought, oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just put the the stronger branches in, in pencil, obviously for Tuesday mornings and that. I, I tend to do it, the pencil lines much stronger, so that otherwise you can't see them on the camera. But equally, I thought yesterday, I thought, oh, I'll just put in the, 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 the stronger branches and then worry about the other ones with a thin rigger later. <laughs> we'll see. See what happens. But uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that one. Oh, wow. like, uh, should be fun. <laughs> uh, one of the, I, one of the things I um, was working on yesterday was uh, the thing I. Well, the thoughts that came to my head with well, the colour was sand. Um, if you haven't got any sand uh, paint, you'll have to perhaps invest in some sand. It'll, you'll find out why in a minute. You can mix it up, um, but it's a bit akin to uh, mixing flesh, which is the um, light red or crimson with raw sienna and water it down a bit it gives you that fresh um, flesh colour but um, sand I'm not quite sure if it, it's still not sand it's even a light flesh um, so I think in maybe add a little bit of burnt sienna to that mix might make it sandy but hence the reason it's so such a difficult colour to, to make, it's probably a lot easier just to buy some. <laughs> just to buy a tube. 
I remember um, Charlie Evans, Joyce knows Char Charles Evans. He, yeah. um, in one of his videos, so he, he stopped as he was, because he uses sand um, to do brickwork and buildings and all the rest of it. And uh, he said, somebody left a comment on one of his videos saying, you should be able to make sand yourself. And he just looked around and on camera and said, if you want to make sand, you can carry on, mate. <laughs> and I thought, well, yeah, I know why, because it's not easy to do. And to get it a uniform, you, wouldn't, you there's a lot of these um, uh, colors. When you start off, the base color is nice to have, um, a uniform, consistent colour that you're going to have every time you put it down, just so that you you don't use it as as it comes out of the tube very often, but it is the the base of three colours. So I always say, don't I? Three colours. Um, that's enough. No more than three. Minutes. So anyway, but the sand I use is the um. The St. Petersburg colours, they're mm. even better than the ones Charles Evans uses. And they've got the other one. They've got, I think it's flesh, sand, and dune, dune, D-U-N-E, dune. Maybe the sand, maybe they don't do sand, maybe it's called dune. It's one or the other, but that's a, a neat one. I'm just going to change microphones and... Uh, we got the camera. We're recording, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I've been doing lately is um, I have to. There you go. Should be able to hear it now. Yep. Got this old piece of board paper here, and I put it down on the on my palette, like with my paints on it, and then then spray it with the big water thing. Otherwise, the water goes just everywhere. Down, down, like a coiled spring. I don't know why I tidied all my desk up, but it seems to me that I'm getting cl cluttered in. You know. I've only got this little patch to work on. It's just one of those things. I was going to tell it, warn you that I might get a phone call lunchtime or 12, you know, I've ranged it. If you ring the doctors, you can't go and see one. They ring you up to find out if you're worth coming, if okay. it's worth you going to see them. So she was going to ring. I said, don't know. Tuesday's all right, but can you make it in the afternoon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she rang about five past nine this morning, said, I've got five minutes to spare. I thought I'd ring you up and check. Oh, <laughs> oh, bless her. Well, that's just good, isn't it? Because now I haven't got to worry about it. No. Well, I've got to go. She's going to come and she said, come pop in and see me. I've got one this afternoon. I thought, bloody, don't, don't right. have a gift horse in the air. You were lucky, yeah. And, yeah. I'm not the saying she's got an appointment this afternoon. Go. We well, can come next week. Thought, yeah. No, I'll be there. <laughs> Dr. Emma sounds she sounded really nice. I've never never um it's a bit like policemen, isn't it? As you get older, remember years ago they say policemen you can tell when you get old, policemen look young. Yeah. <laughs> now it's policemen, doctors, everyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're all looking <laughs> half the age. Anyway, getting this isn't going to take long, I don't reckon. <laughs> oh, good. 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 Come on, we can do this. Wow. Mind you, so make a bit more robust. Tidy up. Get everything raring to go. I've got my water bottle, water Thing over there, just down there. Paint brushes here. I've just squirt a little bit of. I'm still using that um, Horizon Blue. 
But if you look at the, it's pretty close, isn't it? Mm. The blue mm. on the picture. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I'm going to look look a gift horse in the in the um, doodah. Um, so I'm sticking with it. But I think it's really just cerulean blue. Does this? You can see it's cerulean blue is right in there. Yeah. In there, it's pretty close to that as well. It's probably a blend of cerulean blue and cobalt blue and some other. I don't know what else they put in to make it that. You know, I'm always. I'm not a brilliant advocate of buying. You know, paint straight out the tube to paint. I'm falling in love with this big um, Terry Harrison golden summit, golden leaf. Maybe that's a, ought to bear that in mind. It says golden leaf. Obviously, it's designed for doing leaves on trees. But anyway, I'm using that as a wash brush lately. Get me sky wet and somewhere I've got a, a one inch flat brush. I said I was organized. <laughs> Not as. It's, ah, there it is. It's staring at me. What, I don't know why I was looking for something with a black handle and it's not it's a okay. Terry Harrison colour um, and we're just going to drop in some blue but I, I'm not worried about the trees yeah Yeah. I've just said da -da 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 -da. And what I'm going to do oh, might as well use up a lot of it. What a nice strong blue sky, don't we? I was going to lift out some clouds, but looks alright. It is. <laughs> looking, yeah, they seem to be forming their, themselves. Um, one of the things I I did it last week when I was doing the sky was put a little bit of um shadow in but I, after I did it I wasn't that keen on it so whether I'm going to do that again now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's that lovely blue that attracted me to the picture I think so mm -hmm. oh, I'm keen to keep some of that in Hey, what? Just for a bit of a, because I'm a bit radical, I'll stick a little bit of cerulean blue. <gasps> oh gosh! <laughs> Drop a bit in. <laughs> a two blue sky. Mm. Hmm. That spoils it, I think. Not got the um, same. Wow. Gone cold all of a sudden. I'll put some. Yeah, it's not as good. But you go through these stages, don't you, where you think a particular colour becomes the, the go to colour for a while or a blend of colours. And then it falls out of favor, or something happens in a painting, and if you, you haven't got time to muck about, so you just grab a particular color, and then that particular color takes over. It makes me laugh now. Just grab a bit more of it while I'm damp, stick it in. I just like it supposed to be it's called horizon blue but i'm using it <laughs> i was looking out the window earlier thinking Do you know what that's the sky that i'm going to paint today 
we can do, on our, I'll have a go, is mix up a little bit of um, shadow. Some more brush here. It's just a bit, a bit of red on there. If I sneak a bit of that blue and add it into it, it gives me a sort of a dull, shallow, shadowy colour. Just drop it in. Just some of the some of the um, clouds have got them in. Just adds a little bit of flavour, doesn't it? Decide where it is. It's on the being watercolour. You just got to be patient with it, though. Just let them dry. But being really faint. just a weak colour, you know, it's going to dry considerably lighter. What we'll do a minute is mop up some of that um, water that's going down the bottom. Just tissue. Sponge off my brush. Oh, excuse me. Lottery. Can you pop over? Pick your money. Pick your winnings up. Dream on. Mm. I keep forgetting to do it. I was even yesterday afternoon talking to my mum, and she's always a joke we're very you know we won the lottery I said oh that's reminding me I must do it and walk, walk back in house and totally forget I say if you um if you look at your sort of cloud scene and you want to balance it up or lift it off a bit just use a flat brush clean it off take the excess moisture off and just Roll it into the paint. Get some lovely cloud shapes. And because it's damp, it's going to dry really nice. What, it's trying to, what we're always trying to um, achieve is no um, hard edges. Did you put a colour on? on the paper before you started no. or is that just bare paper now the clouds just bare bare paper chris right. okay i've gone off of that lately i was put sometimes painting it white wouldn't i hmm. giving it a coat of white yeah i always do that with acrylic i didn't know really yeah did. you would yeah. yeah without a doubt because I think I've I've said it quite a bit was that I don't know what it is white white acrylic paint doesn't dry as quick as the um, others so it keep, gives you a bit of extra time blending yeah that bit there, that bit there is annoying me other than that job done that do um let's say I think we're in for an early early lunch here <laughs> it's just a little bit of i think with the shadow just keep an eye on on your mix and try not to make it too too red really and if you want to tone it down a bit so you've mixed up some blue with a little bit of the light red just add a little bit of burnt sienna in there as well and it will go an even sort of a, a duller, lighter mix as well. But you can play with that for ages and get lots of different tones. Stuck my hand in a load of paint, excuse me. Oh, 
it's talking of flesh, but I've just stuck my hand in the load of it. Okay. Um, yeah, right. Brilliant. I'm going to ignore. Oh. I'm going to do the brickwork, I think. So clean water. Well, for us watercolour people, it's just a matter of clean water on a brush. Make the... I'm getting the... Um, quite annoying, actually. I'm getting the uh, pencil. Just lately, I've noticed it a lot. And I put clean water on the pencil it sort of dissolves the pencil and it starts making the the surrounding area a bit what's the word a bit yucky anyway this is our sand color going on but what i'm going to try and do the top of the wall just leave a a white area then paint it right to the top just the bottom I think that was flesh I just put that into. Just as well I said flesh or sand, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I'll show you some examples I did last night. While that's um I'll do the other wall as well, I'll do them both. Clean water. Stick try away so around his bike. Around it. This is a number. What I was trying to, to choose. Can't go straight to the top of the wall because I've got a bit of blue sky and I didn't want to blend it down. It's always nice to have a little bit of um, white stone at the top anyway, isn't it? So more base flesh colour on, sand, flesh, they both work quite well, while it's wet, drop in some colour, oh no, every time I put my brush into that rose matter, I get such a strong it's a persistent theme. I've got some golden yellow there, but it's a bit strong, so I'm just going to add a little bit of raw sienna. And I've got some blue over there in the palette, so I'm going to utilise that. Might use a bit of burnt sienna as well. So the plan is, while it's while my wall's still a bit damp, just drop in some spots it some yellow bit of an eaten eat mess and then same over this side it's a sort of pretty well look, I did a test for last night and it looked okay um dropping in a little well I a light. If you've got some alizarin crimson, it will probably work better than the rose matter. Drop in some of the red areas. Light red is good if you've got any of that as well. Hence the reason I was mixing up burnt sienna next to it because that'll turn the matter into the rose into a sort of light red and some blue just a little bit of should really use the sky blue and drop a bit of that in if I've got any left I haven't got a lot there just drop that on the wall looks a bit flowery but I'll sort of that out It's nice and damp anyway, so still got time to play it. And there's two 
different ways of doing that, doing this. I was going to try with a credit card and just sort of spread it, but my, true to form, my credit card's bent. <laughs> And it's what it's a bit wonky, so I'm just going to use a flat brush and just blend the colours. Just blend them in a bit on the wall. <coughs> Excuse me, on the wall. Same over here. Sets the scene, doesn't it? Just gently, lightly press it down and then blend it in. Probably have to do it three or four times before we get proficient at it. Yeah, not too bad. What kind of the road, path, road? It's the same. Technique, I'm not going to go over his walls. This in water initially, make it slightly damp. While we've got these colors here, we'll mix in a bit of raw sienna. A little bit of blue. I want a sort of shadow tone. And just drop that in. This paper is quite um, absorbent. The water trick is not quite as. I, I, do you know what? I've, I haven't looked at the reference picture once. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Well, sort of, maybe. Just add a little bit. I want it slightly, slightly darker over this side, so I'm just going to add a little bit. Ooh, run out a little bit of ultramarine over here. So I can add some lines of ultramarine on my my road while it's damp. Just gently pop them in. Mm -hmm. It is watercolor at the end of the day. I think you're going to enjoy doing this. It's quite, quite relaxing. Poor fat, I'm just about to. If you've got any raw umber, you can add that onto it as well. Hopefully, it will dry. Dry them off. Not too bad. Maybe a little bit more of my purpley mix, shadow mix, which is rose madder or Algerian crimson, a little bit of blue, hint of burnt sienna, just three colours, no more. I think I've extended my my welcome to the paper now. Sometimes you get those little dry, dry bits that are quite nice. I'd like to keep them. Problem is with the um, 
things about printing the, the reference images off, they always look totally different to the one I'm looking on the screen anyway. And you just sort of say, I'll copy those and just do your own, do your own mm. thing, really. Yeah, I'm going to just, normally I just walk away and leave that now. Come back in, in a while. But I'll just dry it off a bit. If I can get it to work. Come back. bone dry but it's dry dry it's dry -ish. just looking at the is that better yeah <laughs> I thought it looked a bit yellow mm, it did. Yeah. sometimes I've got a little light here as well sometimes if I put the light on it gives it even more I think daylight, if you can get away with it, natural daylight's the one you want, isn't it? Yeah. It gives it um, that nice feel. So what's the question now is, decisions, decisions. Do we... I'm going to treat these as separate bits. This piece here, this part of the background, is sort of background hedge, isn't it? So we're going to treat it as separate. What I mean is I'm going to paint it first, rather than, I'm being really delicate today. Mm. My colours, um, it's just a bit of that yellow and some raw sienna. Let's make it a bit damper, but a lot, everything, what, oh, come on Dave, spit it out. What, what I find is I try to do, set everything up the same every time, you know, every week almost, or every time I paint. But every time I do that, you think, you, you know, so you get, the same results or a similar feel and the painting every time hardly ever works <laughs> hardly ever works every time every week it's every time you know every other painting is either the paper feels different paint oh blimey <laughs> this I thought I used the um, fan brush and it's like it's concrete. It's <laughs> solid. <laughs> it's almost like it's had um, acrylic on it. Whatever. Oh dear. Let's see if I can bring it back to life. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's definitely um, upset. The paint that oh must have used some. Uh, Keep going. Oh. Oh, you can tell when you. I can't bend it. If I try and bend it, that there's like the whole thing yeah. goes at once. Oh. Could be a. Oh, it's getting there. Boiling water. Hot water would do it. That's it. Anyway, yeah, I thought I'd. Uh, Introduce some 
and my greeny blue colour into my foliage. My new best friend from last week and the week before. Hooker's green. Oh, blimey. <laughs> All very well when it does that. Initially, it looks really great. You know, you want it to sort of run into the the hedge and give you that. Very often, when it's like that, you, you, it's too wet. And then, I've got more than one of those fan brushes. The small, it's a bigger, bit bigger but it's um, still a fan brush. Add a bit of burnt umber onto that. So there's today's top tips. <laughs> Wash your fan brush out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him go rocks. Oh, I've never seen You wouldn't think that was watercolor, Chrissy. You'd think it was um, <laughs> acrylic. You've all done that. Yeah. Picked it up the next day and go, oh, cool. what are you going to do about it? Well, you throw it away, really, isn't it? <laughs> Practically. I'm just dropping in some dark bits, but I'm thinking about it. I think I'll be better off um, for the balance of the picture. Dropping in some more of the yellow. I feel like I'm painting in acrylic now even though I put the yellow in the base first. I just wanted it to have that little sheen to it. Mm. I'll go up a bit as well. It will dry back, won't it? Please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, stop. Nah, it'd be fine. You can always lift a bit off. You want it to be lighter. I'm just pushing the brush on and then whapping it on a piece of clean tissue. It's the joy of watercolours, isn't it? You just never know what's gonna, you know, because of the way the water makes everything run and that, you're never gonna repeat it. Just trying to pick up some extra dark bits to tease in. I've still not looked at that reference picture at all. Hey, hey. Don't know if that's good or bad, Ru. So I get a, an orangey colour. I've never done this before. Mixed up some of that rose matter with. The yellow, see if I can get a mm, sort of an orange. Rusty leaves. This will drop them in. And maybe add a few. I can find the. I need to just take a brush, one of these brushes, and get my knife and sharpen it. So that so you get a point on it, and then when you scratch some um, branches in, it's a bit better because they're all they are rounded off, aren't they? So hang on, all not lost. If I'm careful, I don't know. I've got a little pocket knife here, but. It's a new one, and I think the blades in it are seriously sharp. One of these Swiss army knife things. Just stick a few, few lines in. Beauty. It does take the top of the paper off a little bit, but which is quite nice, really, because it um, helps you later on. When it dries, it forms a sort of a line that you can, when you put a, a dark 
bit on your brush, it almost follows the line of the the scratch that you put in. Just putting a bit extra in where the bike is. Between the wheels. And up there as well, I think. Just for a bit of completeness. Then when it's dry, I can... It's a good opportunity, really, because you can paint the bike whichever colour you want, can't you? So, it, which which kind of um, save, well, not save, but change, make the balance of the picture. Drop a few more darts in there. Just, just reading, the, reading the graffiti on the wall. Yeah. I've, uh, I I wasn't sure. Jabs in trial, do your research. Yeah, I noticed it was something to do with vaccination, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I've kind of ignored that. Yeah, definitely. Definitely don't need that. Well, perhaps at the end, put in some... Um, could use a bit of white. I have actually penciled in the word eight and N and an A or some lines there that I thought perhaps at some point you could add a bit, you know, put some white lines because people do that stuff does happen, doesn't it? You can't get away from it. Mm. Just going to clean that off a bit. Grab my... Got so well organised. Got a little brush here. I haven't got any raw umber, which is nice for the sort of bricks and that. Bit of raw sienna and burnt umber together. Sort of a light brown, isn't it? So I thought that would figure. Add a little bit more of that red into the mix as well. Should give me my sort of a bricky colour. If you want to go really light, add a bit of yellow in as well. Not blend, not mixing them up, but they're in the palette. I thought I'd just stick a few bricks in on the wall. Here and there. What I've, what I've, I've found with these things in the past is, as they dry, if they dry, you can almost see little bricks in it could be a lot redder really if a bit more burnt sienna but don't try to put, put them too many in put a few over there Where you will find some, let's put some near the ends. You always get a stronger sort of feeling of bricks, don't you? I've done the ones at the top yet, but that, that'll really set it off quite well. Mm -hmm. Yep, somewhere. I just put some when I was sat in front of the computer um, with the image, and I was just sort of putting a few pencil lines where I thought the bricks were. I haven't finished yet by a long short. Um, Oh, it's not looking too bad. It's funny, isn't it? One wall's looking decidedly better than the other one to me at this moment in time, which is interesting. But if you look at the picture, they are they are different walls. One's 
been knocked down at some point by the looks of it and they've redone it. The um need a nice light watery run of colour. Just going straight across the top there. I'll we'll do the same on the other. Da -da 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 -da. Happy Basil, yes. The um, the uh, what was it? Yes, dear. It's, the Samaritans were engaged, wasn't it? Like that. That's it. Yes, dear. Helps you through the day. Helps me get through the day. And the Samaritans were engaged. Basil. Basil <laughs> Faulty, wasn't it? Some of them left eyes. I'm just going to mix up a little bit of dark for a minute. And uh, put some lines at the top where those bricks were. I've actually put a whole row of pencil lines, so <laughs> I'm just going to go with them for now, see what happens. It's a bit damp, so the colour is spreading. I thought if I started at the front and work my way to the back, by the time I get to the back, the colour will be a bit lighter and look... Um, you know, like it's receding away from me. But this side, the bricks aren't so strong anyway. I think they're wider. Well, I haven't put as many pencil lines and so I'm, in a way I'm, I've forgotten about the the um the reference image and I'm just going with my heart now. What I feel But earlier on, we, we mixed up some shadow, which was that's all. I was here crimson, a bit of burnt sienna, and some blue. I've still got a bit of it left. So if I can make it really watery, and then add a, a layer of it under the, the top brick. Should be quite nice. You can always tease it down as well. Some sort of clean water underneath it. Sort of a shadow underneath those top bricks, isn't it? Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. I'll do it on the other side as well. There you go. Are you dares, Dave? Yeah. Do a little bit more doodah on the top. No, maybe not. I can almost sense um, what I was saying to Gordon the other day. Is <laughs> give it a wash of burnt sienna, Gordon. When this dries, when, when it dries back. Just take a, you might find um, the little flat brush. There he is. I think I'll let it dry off a bit, but it'd be just a question of putting a little wash of burnt sienna over bits of the wall. This one, particularly this side, right hand, my right hand side one, which has a distinct anemic feel to it compared to the other side but like we say it's all about consequences isn't it and balance so let's just dry paints so i'm just gonna you can do a little bit more accurate just cross at it a few down strokes and a few right strokes just to warm it up. 
I'm not worried about this bit here because I'm going to put foliage there in a minute. Got the same issue over this side. So it's dried off a little bit. So I can just put some just burnt sienna. But it's random, isn't it? Because the, the wall is so distressed with those antisocial people been in there. Quite nice, these brushes. They're quite stiff. Dry. Quite nice. Next stage. Now that's dry. Uh, also choice. I haven't really changed my colours. I've just stuck with the same ones. That sort of yellow and burnt sienna, uh, raw sienna mix. I think I'll um, a bit strong, I guess. It's all right, we'll lift the bit off. The clean water will have hurt. Start off on these tree trunks, isn't it? The really thick. What I was saying right earlier was uh, this week I've decided to pencil in just the predominant, the main branches, and then use the rigger just to fill in all the others. So clean water, drop in some of our yellow. Yellowy burnt sienna, uh, raw sienna, yellow mix, and then just drop in some bluey green in a minute. I like that last week. It worked really well. Well, I thought it did on, on my one. I've, I can't show you mine at the moment from Ferndown because it's on the back of here. <laughs> I haven't taken it apart yet. Um, no, but I quite like that where I put the uh, yellow, a little dab of yellow, and then dropped um, some of my blue and green on top of it. So I've got this hooker's green that's quite fierce, but dropped in on top of the... Um, The yellow it forms a nice feel of foliage, doesn't it? Because they're not brown trees, are they? They're, as Terry Harrison taught us, they're not. I'm using a little rain brush here, but I think a fan brush does it really well. I used to have one, but it, it's rock solid now. I've left it, in, no, actually, I've left it in the tub of water while I've been babbling away. I think it's, yeah, it's, it's sort of come back to life. Which is fascinating. But it's great for just adding a few dark areas to these. What is that stuff that grows on trees like that? Ivy. I, ivy. Mm. Sort of ivy stuff. Mm. Hey. Just so we've got an horticulturist here. <laughs> I think that's one of my tasks for this week. Let's start sowing some seeds. Mm. Thought I'd have a go. I've got some sweet sweet pea out there. I'm determined to um, put a load of sweet pea um, on the fences at the back. 
bit of luck, they'll grow right across next door's side as well. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Just add a little, um, you can't whack a fan brush, can you? For sticking those little, um, all that is, is a bit of green and a smidgen of ultramarine blue. And just go up the tree. Just on the very end, look, just these couple of bristles on the end. Mm. You get that sort of random feel. I love it. It keeps you um, keeps you focused because you you don't know. You don't, you're not quite sure where the the paint's going to hit, where it's going to land. So you've got to be a little bit. Oh no! Wherever it, you know, it's, it can do that to you. Yeah, I quite like that. It's coming together, isn't it? So we're going for an early lunch. A little bit of um, a little bit of light skin tone. Got any skin tone? Just whack it. Just mix up a bit where the um, figure is, where you think his his hands might be. It's a bit like painting windows blue for me. If I don't do it, I'll forget. I'll just go off, put mixed colour up. But um, I, I have no idea what colour Fred's jacket is. Not, not a clue. But I think, no, well, I don't know. I think what I might do, I've got a, a yucky colour. No, that's that's flesh, isn't it? That's all the fleshy colour. So I'm going to put that on his trousers first. Because and drop in some other colour onto it. Probably the rose for a minute. I want to start what I'm looking into or thinking is the contrast between him or his legs and the background um, hedgerow. So if I start off light, I can get darker, but I can't do the opposite. So let me think of that. That'll do. That's a good start. And then a bit of blue and some burnt umber, the usual. And drop it in to that. Gives me a a range of it could be darker on the inside. Be so careful these days. Might upset people if you put someone with pink trousers on the picture. <laughs> it's just no, no right or wrong, is there? Now, well, no right. <laughs> it's only wrong, isn't it? Gradually getting darker, but I'm trying to leave a little hint of the pinkiness around. Mm. Warning, Fred has got younger man's trousers than I thought. <laughs> Just something like that, isn't it? That um, I noticed straight away. I put in a lighter colour on 
on there it makes him it's tr makes him feel younger <laughs> mm. it's, it's just maybe it's just me i don't know Anyway. Well, the fun bit. Yeah. <clears throat> I I've painted. I've put pencil lines where the trees are, where the where the main branches are. So just adding a little bit of the yellow mix to my. rigor I'm just gonna go over the pencil lines and at some point add even more as it dries so I'll use that fan brush again like I did last week I quite enjoyed doing that to add even more once you've got the the little yellow bit then you can use up some of the dark that you've got in your palette and just add some darks on top of the yellow. You know, to me, it just makes the branches say more. Because you can't paint the whole... You won't get rid of all the yellow, but just enough of it stays, remains, to... Um, Make the oh, make the tree look what's it like? It's got more dimensions. The third dimension. It's just a combination. I mean, it's one of those things where you do a bit, walk away, come back <laughs> later and do another bit. But I think. To me, at this moment in time, I'm more confident um, doing it this way. And it, it's got a nicer, um, a nicer outcome to me later on. <sighs> See, just can't get a rigor that's stiff, holds a lot of paint, and gives me a fine line. Just one of my, I think that's the, the only thing about painting trees that disappoints me. The um, getting a really nice, fine line. Could you do that with watercolor pencils? Yeah, I was just going to say. Um, I haven't done it on the other side. I'll show you the other side before we go. Um, the one we did last week. Mm. Um, I put more, a lot more branches, you know, flick them on during the week because I can get a really fine line on the brush and just spend you know, 10 minutes, just going flip, 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 you know, like that, you know, for ages, um, and gradually build them up. But yeah, that I was thinking, it was crossing my mind as well to, um, to say, if you can, if you've got a watercolor pencil, uh, do the same thing, just get a fine edge. But I've got this thing at the moment, Chrissy, about, putting a, a line of yellow on it just to it seems to warm them up and uh, just carry on building them up ad for night I'm going to let that dry for a minute and do clean water <gasps> Look at the, oh, that's clean water, isn't it? Cough, look at that. That is. <laughs> oh, I think I need to change my bucket. Bit of raw sienna. I'm just going to dab it into where the, the wall meets the, well, I thought it was. Oh, there's too much water there. Do 
And still got my darks, so it's always the same for me. And then feather out from the bottom, try and give it that little bit of Buddha, so a little bit of um, texture to the paint. Do the same over the other side, I think. A curve appeal. Bit of that clean water. Golden yellow raw sienna. Drop that in. A bit of blue, bit of burnt umber. More dark brown. Drop it in. They want to get the bloke out and put some, get, put the weeds on these robes mm. and just dry your brush off. You can just flick it from the bottom. So you always get some sort of, it's a bit like the same as you do in the beach, really, isn't it? Get that darkness about it. Needs a bit more burnt umber and blue. <gasps> Some of these colours, they're um Saint Petersburg, Saint Petersburg paints. They are seriously strong. They are in the palette, aren't they? When when you get them out there, they, they sort of stay. Um, moist normally when you get blocks of paint like this in a set after a while you know a few weeks that they like they go all hard but the mm. st peter's one st petersburg ones they don't they just stay they stay moist for much much i don't know what it is they put in them olive oil some sort of beeswax i don't know it could be anything can it um, get my rigor out. I think um, just put a few lines where the bike is. Well, if I can remember where I put them, there's a wheel there, there's a handlebar thingy there. I think there's something going across there. And there's a seat, which is sort of a brainy colour, isn't it? That's quite robust and goes there. And it's one of those old bikes. So it has that, they used to have a chain guard, didn't they? Which is green. And that's sort of there. So we'll drop that on. I'm conscious of not putting too much too soon on the bike. I'd rather think about it later. Now the problem we've got, it's a nice problem to have, is what to do about Fred's top coat, but I'm not, I'm just going to put a bit of water on it and stick with the local colours that I've been using. So that's the yellow colour. Try and avoid putting it on his hands. I think as you do these, as you get it, more confident you think just you've got to think to yourself well, it's watercolor if i if it doesn't go how i want i'll just 
when it's dry, I'll just get my clean water on a brush and what and lift it off and start again, you know. Well, tidy it up, fix it. Something like that. I've got time to um what colour of cat do we want for Ed? Too much water, see. I'll well, just on that, just on my brush then. I just too much water. You get to know, don't you, after a while, that it's just too much. As soon as you put put colour on it, it just goes whoosh. And that was only a little area of a little area of um, water. But I intuitively knew as soon as I put that on, it's just going to go whoosh. Anyway, something like that. And drop it in. Ta da! Morning, Fred. Hello. Yeah. I think um, every picture tells a story, Carol. <laughs> now it's just. Tinkering with a with a rigor to decide. I think it's one. It's that time of day where you just sort of walk away, come back, look at it, think, "Oh, that needs a bit. That's too dark. I'll lift that out. That that foliage is looking rubbish." Um, <laughs> yeah, but we will get that. And then you can look at your your path or this bit area here and say, right, I want to really add some. Well, what you can do, <laughs> what I'm doing right now, is just using up the rubbish paint that's in my palette and just using it to add some shadow colours here and there. Um, burnt sienna, got loads of that. So, like a line of raw skin. They abandon. No gay zoom, right? Yeah, and just go across. Stand back and have a look. Well, it's, the base is there. There's more, come on, how much, how much more do you want to do? What I could do, um, oh, not what I could do, what I'm going to do is repeat, uh, put some yellow there, quite strong, and add a bit of Christine's green on it. <laughs> uh -oh. Make life interesting. A hint of blue. <gasps> a hint. That was a <laughs> bloody great dollop. <laughs> when that dries, we can say that that's sort of a something growing over the top. Get some more darks. Um Burnt amber, blue, and a bit of hooker's green. She can be a nice dark to pencil in. When it when it gets re when it's really dry, can I add even more shadow underneath it, which will make it look nice. Quite a nice dark greeny colour that. Ease it in using that. 
Nee, doch. Fine brush. Rough paper, so it's um. Well, I've set the boundaries. I've set the the target. Right. <laughs> That's a good, th which is a good thing. Just going to mix up some green and have a bit of a laugh here. Why well, no? I'm always having a laugh. I was just trying to, if I can get this fan brush, just doing fine lines. I was hoping I could put a few extra. Brush marks. On the ends of these thick leaves. Just to get it down. Follow the ones that are there going up. Why not try for some variety, try for some randomness. It's a trial and error really, because it, you just keep going until you've got, well, I do anyway, I keep going until it's got a like a, the, you'll get to a point where the, it's working and you think, oh, I've got to keep going. Don't put any, don't touch the brush. Don't put any more paint on it. Don't do anything. You've got some nice fine lines coming off. Yeah, I'm, I'm not into I'm not into spending three days painting one tree with fine lines I mean <laughs> yeah I mean so. yeah if, if it was a commission and I knew I was going to get a few hundred pounds for it I'm, I'm putting a little bit more more effort but uh, I'd rather have the impression what I I'll show you in a minute what I found the other th last week was that it worked quite well just doing it like this. And then later on when it's been dry, I could put in, I could get my rigger. I've got several riggers, but there's one that's it's only got about, I don't know, half a dozen hairs on it. And it, and it will go really, really fine. And I, could, and I was just like, oh, nothing on telly. I'll do this and then I'll go and make lunch. And then I'd, and then I would just sit down and I'd just be going like this, you know, sticking fine lines in on top of the ones that I did last week. And they do, how long have you got? How long is a piece, of, how long do you want to spend? You know, once you get it going, it's all right. And it sort of works quite well. And it detracts from the the squiggly bits I've just done with the with the fan brush. You can just look out for some really strong ones and then it, it works really well. Or as Chrissy said earlier, we can get um a watercolour pencil mm. with black on it, black or a really dark one, all different colours. Well, I tend to think the fine lines are the ones I'm struggling with, but or I want to add. And uh, you can try it, but I, th I prefer just getting the, the, the very fine riggers and just doing that. You can just, but even even when you think you've got the fine line sorted, it's 
you just mm -hmm. touch it and you get a thick line you think oh, that's not fair <laughs> i think doing that what i was what i was saying earlier of putting um painting the or sketching out the really thick branches put in a a light color of yellow on them first and then making them dark it sets the scene for the the fine ones later but you can see um how it develops over the, over time once you get that very fine line going on the brush you just keep going but you but, but, but i am um, putting the really thick branches in there's a i think it's there isn't it there's a really thick one that one goes thicker there it sets the sets the target and the scene that you can now just spend the next six months <laughs> adding little branches and trees or I think Terry does it, doesn't, or he, he was doing it for a while. He'd come in and spend all morning just with a rigger flicking um, branches on, which is fair enough if, you, if, you, if you're into that. Yeah, put a little bit of dark on Fred. Maybe not. Does he want a beard? Red beard? <laughs> fun. Mm. There's our Dave. What's he doing now? Mm -hmm. Where's Dave? All right, mate. <laughs> mm. No. I had a phone call. Oh, a missed call on my thing this morning. It was about, oh, eight o'clock. And it was from mum. I thought, oh no, what is it this time? She already told me yesterday that dad's um, waterworks was going up the creek because his prostate, he's got a gizmo in him or something to look after his, you know, his waterworks. And it had stopped working. I thought, oh God. <laughs> I'll just put a few spokes in the wheel. And after, of course, a phone call. Eight o'clock, you think, oh, God. Because she said to me yesterday, well, if it gets too bad, I'll just ring a the ambulance, getting an A&E. And then I get a phone. But it was all right. She said, I don't know what happened. I pressed the wrong button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> High tension moments. No, nah, it's was fine. And she told me to bugger off because she hadn't put her makeup on yet anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and why not? Let's try and put a bit of shadow under there. And now one of one of the things we work for time, is that one my I know I promised you an early lunch, but half past twelve. Half past twelve? Ten past. Oh, that's all right then. I just I've got some white here, so I'll just add a little bit of white here and there. Why not? That's where they've painted out some graffiti. And uh, I did pencil some. I think it was a letter N that stuck. I didn't. I didn't know what it was. I don't really want to know. Like you say. I suppose what it could do is um, type Dave in it. We'll put yeah. our own names in it. Yeah. 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 We're like, hang on, Carol. Carol was me, here. Chrissy. <laughs> Anne was here. Yeah. <laughs> Just put a few bits of white in here and there. Um, this bit on the top wall here, I'd be more inclined to uh, leave it to dry and then scratch it out with a sharp knife. Just scratch out a few bits of white. Uh, same with the bike, you could put some white, white on the bike, some highlights. It's 
especially on the handlebars. Away you go. Just look at the picture and if you see a, a highlight of white or something, just add a bit in. It's not a bad morning. It's not a bad hour. It's worth that. I'm quite... It's good. I, like that. I thought... Well, all the components are there. I think, as I said last week, I'm I'm getting um. Maybe it's you guys are forcing me into it. I'm getting more and more into, you know, thinking an hour is more than. <laughs> oh God, more than an hour is plenty to do a watercolor. Well, you could do a lot in an hour. That's the main thing. But I just had a bit of a, a funny period at the moment. Then I just looked for the first time this morning. I looked at this reference picture that's been stuck at the top of here all the time. I just looked at it and I thought, "What's the bloody bike?" Of course, it hasn't got in. No bike. In. It, it just felt strange because I've spent so much time looking at my own. With, he, uh, got, he got hmm. put off the waiting, he cycled off. <laughs> yeah, hmm. Amazing. Well, <laughs> I think the um, painting the flesh early on and then going away works quite well. Because hmm. I can still see it there. But just to show the versatility of the flesh colour, I've got some on this rigger now and I can drop it in anywhere within and and it will fade back as well it will dry even on the little bits of tree not spoil it there but that's not a problem we'll um, just tease it out with some clean water later well that's later just get some clean water and tease it out. What's the matter with your boy? Oh, sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad. Just do that. <coughs> with a tissue and wrap it out. And uh, I'll do. I've run out of clean tissue now. One thing is another, right? We'll get back to it. Almost, almost, almost. What's it like when I I'm stick a frame around it? I've got one. I've got a couple now, actually. That's, me. That's the lottery. You've won. Mm. <laughs> 10,000 a week for the next mm. 30 years. Mm. Well, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what Carol does to this. <laughs> <laughs> what mess I can make. <laughs> so I was thinking you could probably put, um, instead of the morning Fred, you could put a bike. Uh, horse and cart. Oh, a horse. <laughs> oh, should, God. That horse, that, that horse, that could be your theme from now on. My mm. horse. Oh, wow, well, I've got to get a bit more movement in it. It's a bit... Um, yeah, but once you've done a few, it'll be easy yeah. peasy. Yeah. Got a few um marks there where my where my hand was resting. It's the trouble with this. Doing it um sort of that. Dave, I'm gonna have to um disappear. Good on you. I'm looking uh, forward. To, don't be intimidated by trees. <laughs> okay right lots of practice i think yeah. <laughs> many thanks then i'll see yeah. everyone next time yeah. bye, Take care. Bye, bye. Bye. bye bye i changed mine bye. Did, did, I, did you see it oh no oh, i nice, took nice. It, i changed yeah. it completely yeah i didn't like the i washed i didn't like the foreground bit so i washed it off like your trees mine yeah too. well see that's what i was just saying that yeah. Over the over the week, I've just stood there with this rigger and gone, du, 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 you know, flicked it up. Yeah. 
and did a bit more on darks on here. Well, sometimes on a Tuesday morning, it's difficult to do that because it needs to, you yeah. need to do it when it's really nice and dry. Dry, yeah. You know, to add a few extra things. Mm. I quite like that. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, it's good. Another challenge. Mm. Yeah, we'll have a go. <laughs> 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 I could do the back end of a horse going over. Might might be, I don't know, whether it'd be easier or harder. <laughs> <laughs> Disappearing round the corner. Yeah. I probably, you saying that, I'll probably do that and muck it all up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could just be walking behind the behind the wall around the corner and you could just see yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So through. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Mm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I didn't um, do it deliberately. <laughs> um, we <laughs> believe you. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> it just I sort just, of happened, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think. I thought, well, that's. Well, let's get them out of the way now then, eh? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, Morning, Carol. The one after the next week is um, a still life worm. And the is one it? after that is um can't hear you, Carol. <laughs> Morning, Carol. Still can't hear her. She hasn't got a microphone on, Dave. I don't know how I'm supposed to tell her to do it. She's no. Like... no. She's oh, locked out and coming back in. <laughs> you need to tell her. Whoever's got an iPad, you must know where the instructions are. Because <laughs> I don't. I don't no. use the iPad very often. I think it was on the right hand side of the screen, top right, wasn't it? You press top right. Right, that's it. I always press the wrong one. Sorry. Oh, you're in now. Yeah, I always press the the um dial in. I don't know why. My finger just goes to that oh. instead of, of Wi-Fi. Oh, I see. You all right, Carol? Yeah, fine. Thank you. Peter, all right? Yeah, not too bad. That wasn't very nice having that fluid taken off, but um. Is he cope with you right now? Well, I still don't know quite what's wrong. Mate. He has got asbestos. It has uh, it has um, damaged his lungs. But as I say, it's crystallised and it's come up benign. So now they're saying they think it might be um, the left ventricle dis dysfunction. So I don't... And anyway, they're going to give him another C... C T CT scan in three months' time just to keep an eye on it. So, so I think they're just going to put him on water tablets, which is going to be a nightmare for me because he can't go to the toilet on his own. Oh, no. I shall be up and down. So, oh, God. But anyway, we'll try it and see what yeah. happens. Yeah. Yeah. Not much well, else hopefully, that'll, that'll yeah. sort of yeah. yeah. It's always um, a worry. Yeah, so I don't know quite, you know, what they're going to do with him. Probably just leave him as he is, probably. I don't know. Yeah, well, if they're, they're happy not to check him again for three months, yeah. they can't be too yeah. bothered about it. No, no. no. As I say, there's no malignancy there at the moment, although there is damage. Yeah. So I don't know whether we can claim on that. We might have a go. You never know. Yeah, well, you never know. Asbestos, it probably take about 30 years to get to court anyway. <clears throat> no, it does. And I think they do it quite quickly now. Really? Yeah, because mm. I, I know somebody else in the family that had this and um, she applied and it came through really quickly. Well, it's no harm in trying, is it? But oh. whether it, you know, whether they still do it because it's benign, I don't know. But it still damaged his lungs. It's thickened everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hang on. Yeah, you've got to think of it the other way around. What if, do you mean? Well, if he hadn't been um, 
exposed to asbestos, his lungs wouldn't have anything in them right now. <laughs> No, well, only, only if it is his heart that's not working properly, because she said when the blood's not going round properly, oh, I don't know what she said, the fluid goes back into the lungs or something. I don't know. Mm. So um, that's why they give them the water tablets to see if they can keep, keep the fluid off the lungs. But anyway... <laughs> oh, one, well. thing after, one thing after another, isn't it? But it's it's, easy. It's, yeah, but he was feeling a bit better. His breathing was better once they taken. They took about five hundred and sixty mil out. Well, that's quite a lot. Well, <coughs> yeah, and then they couldn't do it anymore. So, no. No. oh well, let's hope that will be. Um, well, a lot yeah. They just. More than an armful. <laughs> Morning. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Good, good. good. You? Yes, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Like good, a, good. Like a coiled spring, raring to go, we are. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't gosh. say that. I thought you might be, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't oh, say what? I feel the same. No, <laughs> no, last week's was a bit disastrous. Yeah. Mine was. I said oh. mine was as well. I didn't even send mine in because oh. I don't like <laughs> landscapes and. Yeah, trees. mine's not very good either. <laughs> yeah. We've mentioned trees. Nice. I thought they were good. It'd be an absolute nightmare then. <laughs> Actually, I, I was talking to Mel about it last night. She said, oh, can I see what the girls have been doing? You know, what everyone's been doing, including me and Gordon's. And uh, I said, yeah, it's trees. I said, I've slipped up really. I was going to shuffle it around but got to get it done no nobody likes trees <laughs> she's looking she's like, what's wrong with that what's wrong with that oh, oh, oh. So, I think, yeah. yeah the bare trees are easier aren't they i find them easier than yeah. all the green yeah, the bushy bushy i mean green. i try to do it like dave does and i just yeah. end up with one mucky color so i think i just gotta <laughs> find my own way of doing them <laughs> Hmm. that's what I ended up saying to Mel was well there's loads of bits no matter what if it's portrait still life seascapes what there's parts of it that you don't like doing hmm. you just got to hmm. keep persevering until yeah they get from a five to an eight or a nine every time okay mine start off at a one because no, yeah. I mean, we got to five yeah area. Yeah. The more yeah. trees you do, the, the easier they yeah. become, I suppose. Yeah. Well, the more oh. confident you become. I mean, using the um, fan brush takes a lot of the angst out of it. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get mine to work <laughs> properly. It doesn't. Like, it, well, perhaps yours are older and they <clears throat> they split easier. I don't know. Mine just comes out in a big blob. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> oh dear. You must have the knack. I don't know what we're doing wrong. <laughs> he's practised more, I think. Yeah, you know? I think. Well, yeah, he's been doing it a long time. Yeah. Hasn't he? <laughs> 20 years, 22 now, isn't it? Oh, well, there you oh, go. Yeah. We've got <laughs> a bit of catching up to do then. Absolutely. Yeah, gosh. 2000, I think I, I sort of started painting a bit more earnestly. Like if mm. it was... I think it was in the 90s, sometime during the 90s, I had pneumonia. So that made me, uh, I couldn't go to work for about three or four months. Mm. And I thought, oh, I ain't going to sit here doing nothing. And I went to some art classes once every, once on a, once a week, really. And I must have had a bit of, bit of, um, skill because after a couple of weeks the other people were saying why do you come here <laughs> <laughs> but intimating i was you yeah. know as good as the bloke derek but i wasn't but uh, it was all about confidence though isn't it you know mm. um it was the only subject i got a grade one in when we did cse's at school mm. even though i wanted to be a astrophysicist yeah no i didn't 
when you're 16, 17, you ain't got a clue what you, well, I didn't anyway. No. Ordinarily, it's just uh, back then it was like get out of school, get a job. It's more important. Yeah. They used to do things called. Do you remember apprenticeships? You used to do them then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sort of yeah. a bit of paper. Um, what was it? A indenture of apprenticeship, yeah. and you were, yeah. and you're the bloke at the top of the, on the top of the um, piece of paper was the managing director or the, the boss of the company and he was God to you. He was your he was more of a father than your father. He had legal rights over you and everything for five yeah. years or whatever it was. Yeah. I still got yeah. that somewhere. And I remember yeah. looking back at it, even at the time I remember thinking, Crikey, Tony Staple is more important to me and my dad, he's got he can <laughs> make, he can make me do stuff, you know, I've got to abide by certain laws and that's if he tells it. me to make the tea, I've got to go and make the tea. You know? <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh, I said, yeah. he was a nice guy. I used to take him off, take him around town on the back of my motorbike. <laughs> so, so here, Dave, I've got to go out the, um, was it the evening post office and drop off some, oh. it, um, some bits and artwork in it. <laughs> get, get on me a bike. Come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> quite funny now oh. Oh. irony is it i can there was only a small company i don't know 20 30 people at the most and i can remember all of their names wow oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> every one oh. of them I, can, I did it the other day on facebook and i put nearly everyone's name up i was well absolutely, absolutely amazed <laughs> you must have liked them all then well, I was, I was the apprentice when I say mm. they call you. I think my nickname was Woofer. You get all the all the um, grotty jobs, don't you? I did all the what when you're an apprentice. Yeah. <laughs> you start, well, you say that I I I went straight on. I was a printer, so I went straight on the machine. But well, obviously, smaller machines. You gradually build your way up. Mm. You know, I was doing stuff pretty quick. Wow. Luckily, they had a little guy, Harry Boyer, who used to come around in his task in the morning. He's a retired guy. And that was his job was to make the tea for everyone, you know, the morning tea, and go out and get the donuts and pasties. Oh, my God. After <laughs> half, ten, half ten, quarter to eleven break, uh, tea break. Mm. Well, he just carried on working, but it used to do that come down a bloody great tray you oh, do oh, <laughs> but when he went on holiday then it was my job oh. for a little while mm. come on let's find uh, a kiss and tell eh? yeah oh. look at that isn't that rubbish yeah <laughs> I love the horse oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> well i remember what dave said if you put something else in you've got to put something else in it looks like a rat i could i you know i try to do a dog it looks more like a rabbit but i thought it was a rabbit yeah it looks yeah. more like that because <laughs> i thought with well, the horse is so still like he's looking at something <laughs> yeah. yeah that's good and the tree's great yeah yeah it's a lovely tree yeah, yeah. Right, that's the best tree we've done. Oh. It's just, I can't, I can't. I was going to say, it's just about branching out, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I was okay. thinking it's starting to grow a bit, you know. I did, I did mask it out. And then it took all the other paint off as well. Oh, so I thought, no, I'm not doing that again. I'm just going to draw it over the top of the blue sky. It's easier for me. It's not far off, is it, from a one of those sort of paintings you see from the sort of I don't know, like a constable constable <laughs> period and things like that, isn't it? It's got all the feel of it. Oh, wow. Really nice <laughs> country scene. I don't know how the horse rider is being let out on her own though. She looks, she looks a bit small. 
<laughs> like I've done a two, I made her a bit fat. I thought, oh dear, she looks like she's got a bit of a the bottom. <laughs> should oh, she be, should she be higher than the horse? Oh, no, I, don't I just know. thought, oh, look at that, that little, that young girl I'm out on the ride. Yeah. On a little Shetland. <laughs> Mm. And then it seen the rabbit and stopped still. <laughs> I couldn't do it moving. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. nice. It's a bit of a cracker, that is. Yeah, oh. I think it'd make a nice uh, card. Yeah, it would. A, a greetings card. Mm. Oh, oh, gosh. I imagined it on. But I can't paint straight. Mm. Do you notice all my paintings slant? Even the tree slants. Yeah. I don't know why I can't paint straight. <laughs> yeah, that looks right. Oh. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, good thing is it, that the main tree might be going to the right, but the other ones are going slightly to the left to balance it up anyway. So you're all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Life is wonky. It doesn't matter. Hey, you can't get away from it. No, that's good. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. That's Christine. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Well, Lovely. I looked at that and I looked at mine and I thought, oh, I don't know whether to send it in. <laughs> oh, oh. <could> be done. <laughs> There's yeah. lots of interest in it. Yeah, mm. it's really good. Got the dog good as well. Yeah. He looks a bit angry about something. He looks more like a wolf. <laughs> I, was say, I, was thinking, I was thinking it's a greyhound type dog, and I thought, mm. I'm not sure if I want to meet up with that one more. <laughs> the, water, the water looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, as I was yeah. thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Nice colours all round, doesn't it? Yeah. She's in uh, Walker's carrying a poo bag, so she's been good. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah but there ain't many of them over there. <laughs> this oh. one came in. This one came in almost this is that? half good. hour after I finished painting mine. Oh, water's good on that mm. as well, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Sweet dog. Yeah. <laughs> what green is that? Um, phalo green with phalo blue in the background. Yeah. And the the other green is uh, sap green. Oh, Grass from that sap green. Totally different feel to it, isn't there? That green. Yeah. Mm. You go yeah, from like the sagey greens. And it's the, the palette that Anne's bought me for Christmas. Worth persevering. Mm. Yeah. I think you could. I know, it's fine. Then you could probably do what I did on mine. I and mean, that was to, I, I, when it was dry, I, I had my atomizer and I sprayed certain areas of the green and just used um, tissue. And lifted it off so you mm. could sort of lighten up the background and push it back a bit. Because otherwise, you could say, well, the foreground tree here is the same tone as the background yeah. ones. Yeah, I, I didn't put any aerial perspective in what, what, what you're saying. Yeah. Don't get bloody terrible <laughs> <with> me. <Sorry. laughs> no. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> it's a bit like these astronomy people. Oh, look. Look at this one. Oh, that's, that's a good, good one. Yeah. I love, Joyce. I love Joyce. I don't know what you <laughs> never know quite what you're going to get. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was really a suggestion. Good. Thank you. It was a suggestion of a tree. And it was oh, that's fine. As the Pauline you said last week, I might just do one tree. And I thought, oh, do you know that's yeah. a great idea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that's that's good. Good. Walker really makes it well. well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you got some footprints showing that she didn't just arrive. Yeah, yeah it's good. I like that one. Yeah. And and Joyce went. Oh, I hate trees, and she ended up doing another Ooh. one. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. Mm. That's nice. 
Well, I just thought, you know, oh, you know, let's have a go and see if it looks any different with some green on it. Yeah. Not, not, not totally happy with it, but there we go. One, yeah. other thing I, one, one of the things I noticed the other day, I, I think it was yesterday when I was sketching out the one for today, was that um, they, trees, inherently try to grow towards the light so that even the bottom leaves or the bottom branches they go straight and then they try to go up oh, I've, been, wow. I've been looking at that thinking hmm, i'm going to bear i'm taking a mental note of that thinking we ought to incorporate mm. that in our thing i think i've got it on the the one for today when I zoomed in, hang on. It's all fiddly, this is. Got so many buttons to press to get the one thing. <laughs> Dave, can I say, just out of interest, um, my, my, I've told Anna Gordon this already. I've just sent you a photograph um, that my brother bought on eBay last night or yesterday. Mm. And it's, an original photo of my mum on the fair. And oh, what are the cool. odds of finding that? Oh. <laughs> oh, we'll have a look at that. I've yeah. got one of, I've got, I've, oh, just, I've, got, I've got the one of the monkey holding it there. No, no, under, under that. Is that your mum? Yeah. Oh, I, don't oh. can, I don't know if well, you can share it or not. We have a look. Wow, wow. Did you buy it? My brother did, yeah. Back in the sixties. How did he find that? Well, it, it, because it was, um, I think he was just searching on like yeah. fairground mem memorabilia and what have you, and somebody had obviously taken it and he's bought the original photo. It's paid twelve pounds oh. for it, as you can see. Amazing. Can you share? It? Can you share it so the others can see it or not? Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look. Two sets. Yeah. yeah. It was. It was. Absolutely amazing. Oh. Yeah, give me two secs. I'm on the case. <laughs> I'll do better than that. Control Y. Shift <laughs> S. I'll sharpen it up a bit. I'll try it twice. I don't think it works twice. Yeah, not too bad. Right. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, <laughs> share screen, that one. Wow. That's, that's wow. my mum. That's my mum. That's my mum. In the 60s. <laughs> I, can, I can remember, I can remember, I would have been about 10, I think, when that was taken. And Are looking at the prizes, looking at the yeah. prizes in the background, that was one of my jobs on the fair was to set all the prices out. Oh, right. And I can remember looking at them. I can remember some of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, she, yeah. so was she related to Margaret that used to live down here in that way avenue? Uh, yes. Well, um, Cause I know dad's... you said she's your auntie. Yeah, but it's my dad's brother. They were, they were, it was my dad's side. They were fair grain. And Margaret was my dad's sister. Um, right. Sorry, right. my dad's brother's wife. Oh, so, so no, they weren't. Right. They were only related by marriage. Oh, right. She wasn't. Margaret um, wasn't born on the fairground, and nor was my mum. Oh, but, right. the, but the two men, my dad. So, her, so Margaret's husband was. Oh, I've got Dan, my Dan Barker. So who who was he related to? Your dad. Barker, my dad. Yeah, Your my dad. maiden name is Barker. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm. Yeah. Well, you'll have to paint that now, Christy. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, no. no. I, uh. I, I couldn't do it justice. Now I've tried painting. I've tried painting my mum before. And, uh, yeah, no. it's nice for you to keep, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, he, when, he, when it arrives, so he, only, he only bought it yesterday. Um, 
when it's delivered, he's going to scan it and um, send us all a copy. Yeah, mm. no, that's I, I expect it's only a small photo in those days. You didn't, you know. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do big photos, did you? It was probably some fairground enthusiast was wandering around, taking yeah. photographs of everything. Yeah. Mm. But this it, it is a rare photo. And mm. Anne was saying, if Anne is still there, yeah. Anne was saying last night how she <laughs> remembered going on the Feed the Ducks. Well, it probably was my mum's and dad's outfit because there were no other ones in the south of England. Right. Well, if they were at Bridgewater Fair, I'd have seen them. No, they wouldn't have been at Bridgewater. No, they didn't. They didn't go to Bridgewater Fair. Not, not to open. We went to visit. Yeah, that was the only one. Uh, the only fair yeah. I ever went to. No, we yeah. we belong to the. Um, the western section which was really up to about as far as Brighton up to London and down mm. and we we're right on the border really right sort of like yeah. wearing the Perbex was about you know sort of the section that we belong to we didn't venture out of it very much yeah oh, but, um, interesting, isn't yeah it? Oh, we were mm. absolutely nice. And then to yeah. talk to that, I was watching television last night and David Williams was on Who Do You Think You Are? And they were going back to, through his family tree and his great-great-grandfather um, worked on a fair. So he's, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> so they were going back and they were looking at all the old fairground things oh, again right. there. Yeah, that was oh. yeah, so it was quite an evening for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. I thought for a minute you were going to say you were related to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. <laughs> no, I think oh. his, great, his great great grandfather married into the fairground. Oh, right. right. His great great grandmother was the fairground. Oh, showman. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite yeah. interesting. Yeah, very interesting. And then nice other, if we could all do that, but it's too it's complicated, isn't it? Oh, it is very, very complicated. And they do it on the telly, they do all the research, don't they? So. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, cost a fortune, doesn't it, to do it Yeah, all. I think so. And on oh. Thursday, our road is gonna be closed, the roads off the estate, because there is a massive gypsy funeral of that young girl I told you who got hit and run. Just across oh. the road on the dual carriageway from me. Oh, God. right. With her, um, her dad and granddad live, well, I can virtually see their house from mine. Right. Um, and the road's going to be closed because there's going to be just hundreds really? leaving. Yeah. I'm expecting there's going to be, well, there'll definitely be horse drawn carriage. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, it's yeah. going to be a very, very big funeral. Yeah. Um, that's so, a quite yeah. quite a long time in between. Was it just before Christmas, the accident? Or yes, yeah. yes, it was just on the Christmas period, wasn't it? Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. Um, yeah. Apparently, her um, she's her her body, her coffin's coming back to the house tomorrow. Mm. Right, and they're going to have a wake there, and there'll be gypsies coming from all over. Right, and the road is going to be closed from seven o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Right, because yeah. there's going to be so so many cars that park in the actual cortege. There's going yeah. to be such a lot of visitors God. that they you know they're all going to. So where are they going to bury her? Do you know? Tinson, Tinson Cemetery. Oh. They got oh. quite a trek. Sorry, it's quite a long way. They're going to block the roads all the way around. No, 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 no. It's just, it's just leaving the estate. Yeah. It's just on the estate because to, um, to allow the, um, you know, the, the funeral yeah. directors and the, the carriage. I, I don't know. It's got, I, I've no idea. Um, I'm no. supposed to be going out tomorrow, but I think I might stay in. And yeah. Wander, wander down to the shop and watch. Yeah, yeah. Right. I might, I might forego my keep fit tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, I think I better go now. So um yeah. see you all next all right. week. See what yeah. we can okay. do.
yeah. to do with these trees? Yeah. Bye. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See you later. Right, then. See you Bye. next week. Bye. 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 Bye.